Hi, Ed here from Shakespeare Solutions and today we're looking at installing a Muto dot into a hollow board or plasterboard wall. The challenge here is that the screw that comes with the Muto dot uh, is designed to go into a solid timber stud or a concrete slash masonry wall uh, with an appropriate uh, plastic plug. Um, until recently there hasn't been anything out there that has actually allowed us to put this uh, thread, which I think is about a 14 gauge thread, into any point along a plasterboard wall. Um, the problem with that is, it means that we've been restricted to where we can place these, uh, which is kind of against the design philosophy of the product in the first place. The solution here is to use the G-Fix fixings. Um, these are a brilliant product. Uh, they're easy to install, uh, they hold a huge amount of weight, uh, but most importantly in this circumstance, they can actually handle a wide variety of screws, anything up to about a diameter of 8mm, which makes them perfect for mounting our Muto dots directly into the plasterboard. Okay, let's get started. Firstly, we mark on the wall the locations where we'd like the Muto dots to go, uh, and then we check to see if we're close to a stud. You can use the tap test, uh, I also use my uh, trusty stud finder. Um, I know that in this circumstance, the stud is in the center, so we're nowhere near a stud. Um, if you did have a location that was close to a stud, it may well be worth just moving it over and then installing the Muto dot directly into the stud. Okay, so we use a 25 mil or one inch hole saw. Uh, you could also use a spade bit uh, to drill a hole in the wall. The next step is to thread the cord through the backing plate and through the plug. We can then place the backing plate in the cavity and the plug in front. Using the cord, we can then adjust it into our desired position. Um, I would like these ones directly up and down. We then place our centre screw in. the centre screw. You will feel the backing plate tighten uh, as the screw, screw takes hold and forces it uh, against the wall. At this point we can remove the cord and then it's simply a case of fixing the smaller upper and lower screws. Our G-Fix fixing is now in place. We can remove the centre screw. And we're ready for the Muto dot. If we wanted to, we could drill out this hole so that it would more easily accept this self-tapping screw that's on the Muto dot. Um, however, this is a medium Muto dot, so I don't think it should be too hard to put in place anyway. It's simply a case of lining up with the centre and twisting it on. Previously this was a difficult job, uh, but as you can see we've been able to mount both Muto dots into plasterboard with no studs behind. Um, I would say they took about four minutes in total, They're incredibly uh, securely fixed on there, they're not coming out. Uh, you also with this fixing have the added benefit that you can remove that Muto dot uh, if you wish without damaging the, the plug in the wall, uh, which means that you can interchange them, so if you wanted to move them around you could do that also. Um, great, great product. If you have any questions, please let me know. I'd be delighted to help.